so guys today welcome to my youtube channel <clears throat> there's some people who are asking me about you test you test is a platform that is a uh, that is used to test apps websites games uh boys testing credit cards that's payment testing and many many other testing like usability tests you have exploratory tests when you want to, to know those tests are here <coughs> they are just here it has many tests <coughs> there's functional bugs usability bugs which is which also is a usability test you can do a usability test you can do an exploratory test user interface use experience tests there's many tests but this is some of the tests you can do on these uh, security tests localization tests is where you test the if the app accepts the location where you you are currently so guys there's some people who are getting difficult maneuvering with the academy section the academic section this this uh, UTES has has uh, 27 academy tests and from academy 16 from academy 16 academy 20 those are practical tests you must report bugs the bugs will be approved you should do test cases your test case should be approved and there's writing a review everybody knows what a review is and there's a way you can you there's a way you can you can write that review and be approved without being biased you just write what you feel about the app or the website you tested or the gaming or the voice uh, device or the payment testing or the usability of the app the menus the designs the graphics the alignment the font size the font type all those are the things that you can test in an app I've I've done many <clears throat> many projects here and they have been approved. The Academy All Stars was approved, the the bug was approved, the test case was approved, and I've done many many testing in the in this uh, academy. And you know when you want to learn, just know there are some failures. You cannot just start to learn and you, your bugs get approved no so there's a trick on when your bug can be approved when testing a website take your time for example you are testing for example you are testing let's say converse.com you are testing converse.com for example i'm not saying you should test it so let's Let's sign in first. So when testing an app like this, an app like this, first of all, when you reach your home page, you should learn the elements that are on on, on home page. You should know at Converse this symbol here and uh, mean for example if you tap here it will bring you back to to the home page or to the rather the location of this and language of this uh this uh, website and this is a bug if you want to report this bug you should in in usability testing for example if you should not stuck in a page for example if you want to go to home page from this page let's say we go back yes that's working but if you're stuck in a in a 
page and you cannot go to home page or proceed to any other page that's a usability problem users need should not stuck in a page there's a there should be a back button proceed button or navigate to pro the product listing page or the cart page or such button should be visible at any moment so let's say we are testing this there's a this uh, app you should ensure you go to every feature for example new and feature check check if this all these buttons work as exact expected and the results that turn out turn out at is uh, turn out as it means for example if you say shop all it should show the chuck taylor products if you say classic chucks it should only display classic chucks products you should go to women and test all these elements don't just go to one element and give up no start from best seller go and check, filter out go and search go and search go to that product page and filter out search the product that you want first of all you should interact with the platform you should know the product it, it, it sells or it provides then you should know what to search you know you cannot come to a platform then you want to search something you don't know and it doesn't display you you, you report it as a bug no you should see the alignment when you you if for example you you want to search you should see the font size for example here is it displaying in capital letters and it's not overlapping but i feel this this line is too long this line is too long and this line is too long for example i want to search Place the capital letters required. It's not that uh, my caps lock is on. So you should test all aspects on women. You go on men, you test all aspects. Kids, you test all aspects. Custom, you test all aspects. Launch, you test all aspects. Don't, don't skip any aspect because a bug can be hidden somewhere in one of the aspects. Go to sell and and check all aspects don't skip even these ads that are coming here you should test them you should go shop then see what happens up here there's some details that are being displayed tap on them and check come to to your profile test these aspects all of them sign out see if it displays your password and off and so on and so forth you can come here watch full video See if a video is stuck. There's this video testing by the way. Sometimes it can display too much light. Yes, this video testing in you test. So you go shop charts. See if it will bring you it will direct you to charts and so on and so forth. If you are testing an app, for example, that's the easiest. If you are testing an app, for example, let us test our handbrake app. Let us test our handbrake app. So in our in an app, it is the easiest because you have many. Let, let's let us drop here a video. Have many recording here, so you just a video there then let us test 
many aspects you can test if it will encode if you you can add it to q to see if the it adds to q then you you go to the q then remove things like that open source you go and read what's in the open source if it makes sense preview if it will preview a video after editing because there's many aspects go to dimensions change the dimensions and check your video if the dimensions display as you expected or as you set or as according to your settings go to filters video the app is the easiest because it has precise buttons not like a website it has many things but an app is the easiest to test but an app most of the time they display on the or they they re, they test on a mobile phone or an android rather android or ios so after doing this all these testing apps you have to collect logs and in my previous videos i've taught you how to collect mobile browser logs i've taught you how to collect mobile device logs i've shown you how to collect chelsea proxy logs they are very easy if you get stuck just review my videos or ask me a question i'll answer you in the in the comment section because this is the easiest so after 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 i've tested an app for example after i've tested an app you can go and collect your chelsea proxy logs my chelsea app is just somewhere or you can search your chelsea app you can just come here and search your chelsea proxy app you collect your chelsea proxy logs browser console logs i show you how you can collect then when submitting the report in new test for example in new test you should ensure for example let me show you one of my reports it should be the best reports you should you should report a good report know how to know the report fields know know how the form title format and so on and so forth for example you can check my my report here you should not report a duplicate report so my My report my report title is samsung a14 i use samsung a14 android 14 and this is the title format of the of the this test cycle they give you a, a, every test cycle has its title format so that's my title format then you come here there's two production there's people who got the same bug but i had already reported so they have just to reproduce the bug through my nini through my report you just go to issues then you go and confirm the, that issue if you want to reproduce an issue for example but i'll do this later because now you can't reproduce an issue because the the, the test cycle is locked when you want to know the test cycle is locked you get a notification here you get a notification here that your test so we were on report we were on, re on this report and i'm show you how our, how your report can be best for those who are doing new test academy and if you get uh, difficulties in completing those academies you can just comment there then we will link up you can give me your email email is safer than your phone number so for example the, in the academy all stars they were testing open Lufthansa. this was the app so you the, the best way use this speech marks to put the app put the app in the speech marks or quotation marks you see tap login then input credentials you put in the quotation mark this this way it it appears best your pro, your report appears best doing that you can check my report tap search you see the button you 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 put the button in the quotation marks 
then you <coughs> so after after writing all those the white the actual results app language the app version app version sometimes it you cannot get in the app you can get in the play store you can go to play store then check the app then you will see its version so after that there's attachments that every test cycle will tell you to attach the, like here we were required to attach the text the the screen recording which you use uh, the screen pad and the screenshot and editing screenshot you can edit with screen pad too and in a phone you can edit with the uh, we are using phone so this in a phone you can use x recorder i recommend x recorder it will record you a good work so when you want to see where the, the attachments you can come to an overview everything is in the overview and while testing please follow the 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 in scope instruction components for example registration and preference login and logout account preference and registration flight search flight booking flight setup don't go to out of scope like help center don't do that so you avoid doing it you will get some instruction here environments then set up instruction then title format i told you you will be given in the overview the title format is here device stock os then colon area description of the issue yes so you should follow this format if you don't follow it will be rejected or it will tell you the the info requested info requested is the test team leader has requested some information from you so we have requirement the attachments are here a highlighted screenshot a screen recording in mp4 format please take care of the format mp4 jpeg a device log in text you save in text a screenshot of the speed test if you are reporting a performance issue a performance issue is when a, an app load for more than five minutes or more minutes than five minutes then you report that back and it should be reproduced the moment you open your your app it loads for that time so <clears throat> that the payouts are here for paid those who have ever if you received a uh, a paid test cycle you see they have arranged uh, the, the the value of the of your bag the value of a bag they're somewhat low and uh, and uh, high so they spelled for those different for those different value they pay according to the value of your bag and they, there's also a payment bonus if you get certain bugs or you report certain bugs in a paid test cycle so i think that's enough for today guys please let us do you test and let us subscribe to this channel let us grow this community guys thank you and welcome again and again and again